How is everybody doing? This is Ruben once again with Philosophy. I want to thank you for watching this video. Uh, if you liked any of my past videos, please like, comment, or subscribe. It would be greatly appreciated. Now, today I want to talk about <clears throat> uh, organic food and how it does play a role in health. But at the end of the day, you know, it can only do so much. For, I guess, the past decade or two, organic food has become this um, <clears throat> popular item and looked at as <clears throat> very, very expensive very necessary for your health without it your health is just not the same some even believe that your health is far from reaching you know a, a below normal level if you don't have organic food and they make a big deal of this because they say that for the longest time throughout history it has always been organic food GMOs genetically modified organisms or foods which uh, many of the of the foods we today do have that or have some sort of genetically modified flavor or whatever well that we didn't have that before and that's true and that's a hundred percent true well, let's first talk about that. Genetically modified organisms and all these genetic foods. For one thing, yes, uh, we really don't know what those type of foods can do to the body on a very long-term basis, right? So GMOs have been GMOs have been around for a good period of time. And probably you know, for us to really see if it's really a bad effect on the body, it's through, you know, two or three, you know, one or two generations, because you can see how the offsprings are coming. Now, one thing um, we do see is a high raise in autism. But that could come from a various of things, right? But some people say that it, it, you know, GMOs and all this play a part, which they could. But I'm over here just speaking the facts that we know. <clears throat> so GMOs, genetically modified organisms, basically all this genetic sort of modified fertilizers and all this are for the crops, basically is to sustain the life of the crops, to make them last longer, to make them bigger, um, and so forth, right? Now, think about the hunger around the world, right? How there are still places on earth in a multitude that people die from hunger. Genetically modified organisms have played a part in helping these countries and can play a bigger role in the future to come. So people who are living in this still starving countries can get food. Think about it. I don't think anything God places on earth and allows, you know, for it to happen on this type of basis like let's say a genetically modified organism or medicine that is something we really didn't grow up naturally but it's allowed or it's placed here I believe it's for a reason so if you think about okay yes or, or organic food I, I you know I'm sure yeah organic food is probably the best type of food that we could be eating but I really don't believe in a fully banned on GMOs. 
one for the very fact that there are still starving places on earth today there will be people dying of hunger something here in 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 the first world or, or many other countries most of the countries in the world you know you just do not find so there are still starving places in, in this world and I believe GMOs, genetically modified organisms, these fertilizers that can allow crops to grow even in harsh places right can really make a difference and could and I'm pretty sure have made a difference but can go ahead and clear hunger you know uh, for the future and of course, organ I'm not saying a ban on organic stuff either. Organic stuff can be available as well, you know. So, <clears throat> you see that. And then, we hear, so now that I've covered that, we hear about how organic, or organic food is... what the human body is designed to eat, right? Pure organic food. I'm sure, I agree. But even an organic today, today, let's say America, right? I, I, I live in America, so let's talk about America specifically. There was what they called the, I believe it was the Dust Bowl. Basically, there was a, a, a dust storm that basically blew out a huge part of our mineral rich soil here in America. <clears throat> so the f after that, which I believe it was in the 1950s, I may be wrong, don't quote me on that thing, 1960s, or 70s, one around there. <clears throat> really, the dates are irrelevant. But basically, ever since then, our foods had have, have been minerally deficient. Bottom line, no scientist can tell you wrong. So, even an organic carrot or an organic potato, an organic tomato, um, an organic broccoli, whatever, right? Scientists have researched and have said that compared to an, a carrot in the 1950s, you would need to eat about 10 carrots to get the same amount of minerals as you did back in the 1950s because of that dust bowl. The, the, the soil is very depleted in minerals. So that's one depletion of minerals. Second, <clears throat> many of these foods that do have minerals, they're extracted. The minerals are extracted for industry. To give you an example, uh, sugar cane. <clears throat> sugar cane is sh sugar. Is, is where sugar comes from. God, why would God, well, let me tell you like this, sugar cane, one of its mold, one mineral that is so rich in sugar cane is the mineral chromium. It's vastly rich in that mineral chromium. Now, there's much research, which I will not go into today. But there's a lot of research made from the 1950s ongoing where chromium plays a part in controlling sugar levels. You know, just to give you a brief example, um, they did uh, research on mice. They added chromium to the diet no diabetes they took chromium out there's diabetes 
they put chromium back into their diet, the diabetes is gone. Not saying that that's a cure, not saying anything like that. I'm just giving you the research that was made, which I will not go into as I mentioned. So, my point is this. Sugar cane, which has a vastly amount of chromium, which God put there to balance out the sugar levels, and also chromium plays a part in, you know, getting addicted to that substance which is sugar um, so one chromium is to control the blood sugars in the blood and also so you don't become addicted to the substance which is sugar what industry does is they extract the chromium and extract the minerals sell it and sell it and then they give you white bleach sugar or white bleach flour get get an example so you're getting the food you're getting the sugar you're getting the flour but there's no chromium in it so it's ingested in a way that there's there's no minerals for us to go ahead and digest it as we should okay so that could be a reason why there's many diseases out here which should not be or could be gone, right? If we just kept the minerals. Just I'm giving you the research. <clears throat> so one, the, the food is minerally deficient. So even an organic apple, again, compared to an apple in the 1950s, you would need to eat 10 apples just to get the same amount of minerals you would get with one apple in the 1950s. So what's really the issue here? Whether you go ahead and pay extra to buy organic, which I believe 100% an organic banana is way better than a conventional banana that you would buy. But even if you decide to spend that extra, extra amount of money on getting organic food as opposed to conventional food, you know, is, is it really making a difference? Because even that organic food is minerally deficient. So what is really the issue here? Is minerals. Minerals. We our body can make vitamins. Our body can make enzymes. Our body can really almost make anything. But one thing that we are how can I say? that we need, that we are dependent on to live, is minerals. Minerals we are dependent on. No minerals, no life. So, and when I say minerals, again, I really mean, well, before I get to that, so we're dependent on minerals. So whether you buy that organic food or that conventional food, does it really make a difference because at the end, both of them are mineral deficient. Of course, the conventional one is more mineral deficient than the, deficient than the organic one, of course, but uh, they're both still deficient. It's like if you go to a cemetery, there's uh, one person grave and then there's another person's grave is that one person more dead than the other one well maybe this one died before that person and maybe that the, this composition is, is different but they're both dead right <clears throat> so the same sort of thing here so it does really make a difference if you buy that organic product than the conventional pretty sure it is a small difference but bottom line both are mineral deficient so the key here is to get minerals in your body so you can function well you can go ahead and have a great balance emotionally mental physically and and, and, and strive for the best so we need minerals so whether you eat in organic or whether you're eating conventional which I really, at, at this point, in my opinion, 
I really, really, I don't care. Of course, sometimes I do choose specific things, you know, organic. When I go to the supermarket, I, I rather get that organic if, because of the flavor. The flavor does make a difference. When you eat an apple that's organic compared to a conventional, there is a taste. A great, a great difference is if you're making a salad. If if you're getting organic lettuce or organic uh, kale or whatever you would put in your salad, compared to a conventional lettuce, kale, whatever, the taste is different. The taste is different. Most people have to go ahead and bathe their salad in some sort of dressing in an organic salad uh, you don't need that much dressing because it's really good so just to give you an example of course but I mean uh, eating a conventional salad doesn't add a little bit of dr extra dressing I mean it's, it's of course not. if if I have time and and there's a special occasion sure I'll go ahead and, and choose the organic one but it really means it's meaningless to me <clears throat> so here's my point. The reason it's meaningless to me is because I make sure that I get the minerals I need daily. So basically, I would recommend getting a whole food again. A whole food again. A whole food. One more time. A whole food mineral supplement a whole food mineral supplement the reason is because if you go to your store if you go to the pharmacy if you go to the vitamin shop wherever you may be you, you go to the mineral section and you may see a multi-mineral product you get it. The way those minerals w were put into that specific tablet or whatever you're taking, the rocks. They come from rocks. They extract them. I'll give you a good example. I believe calcium. They extract it from oyster shells. Now, this is where we come to the idea where what we really are designed to eat. The body is not designed to go ahead and get minerals from oyster shells. We are not designed to get minerals from rocks. But this is what most of your mineral supplements out there have. That's where they come from. The way it's supposed to be is that the plants or the fruits that we eat, the trees, whatever, they eat. They eat the rocks. They get the minerals from the rocks. The, you know, the sea animals and everything. And, and specifically the fruits, the plants. Which they do it through system to science to this day cannot explain. But the plant, just to give you an example, gets the minerals from the rock. And then we get the minerals from the plant. So it's a system. That's the best way for us to absorb the mineral. When you take a mineral that comes from rocks, you are really not getting any mineral. The absorption rate, I believe, has been researched. And this may vary, but it's been researched that it's 0.100% of absorption. So you're basically just throwing your, you might as well just throw your money away in a toilet if you're getting these other mineral supplements. So the best mineral supplement that you must get is a whole food supplement, a whole food supplement. Just go to your store and just look at whole food. I mean, punch it up in the internet, a whole food mineral supplement. That way, whether you eat conventional or organic is meaningless. The reason we choose organic more than the conventional is because of the amount of minerals it has. The reason the salad of an organic salad tastes better than a 
conventional salad is because of the men on Senate. So at this point, it's really irrelevant whether you get, you know, you get either one, as long as you take a whole food mineral supplement. Okay, so and if you have specific conditions, definitely make some research, and you may be deficient in some sort of mineral, and make sure to get a whole food mineral supplement, a whole food supplement of that specific mineral, and you know take some extra. Because I believe that every single ailment can be healed, not cured, can be healed. The cure is that goes to the medical industry. I'm here talking about healing. The body can heal itself <clears throat> through mineral supplementation. I believe every ailment comes from mineral deficient deficiency. But then, you know, you go ahead and look at history throughout history there's been plagues there's been ailments people still died from ailments and they ate organic food and the f organic food was mineral rich so that's where I believe medicine comes in right to, I believe 20 million uh, Aztec people were wiped out because of smallpox. They ate organic food. People back in the Bible days, all the food was organic. Especially the Jewish people, they kept a specific Jewish diet. <laughs> they still died of ailments uh, throughout history. There's nothing that can go ahead and, and and say that food can go ahead and just stop you from any sort of ailments. If there's a virus going on, hey, that, that the body's just not, I mean, no matter how much minerals you take, you, you may be filled, you can still fall into, you know, the hands of, of, of and could be the end of you. This is where I believe medicine plays a role. People out here just say, ban all medicine, it's all food, you know, anything, all the answers are found in food, this and that. And I believe, you know, for the most part, it could well be, you know. Um, but again, you know, there's a reason for everything here. So uh, for the most part, though, for most ailments, I believe it's mineral deficiency, for sure. But if it's a virus that we've never, the human body has never, let's say a meteorite hits us, right, for whatever reason, even if it's a small one, and there's bacteria there that has never, you know, or some sort of alien microscopic element that the human body has never, ever encountered. And it hits us, I mean, it could be a big old plague. This is where research and medicine comes about. You see? So, and so that's, that, that's part of it, right? <clears throat> so, it's really, you know, getting organic food better than getting conventional. I mean, really it's your decision. If you're starting off into your road of success, if, if you're starting off... And, you know, and, and you're getting your thoughts together, you know, you're believing in the righteous message and the grace message and you're, you're trying to, you know, go ahead and build some wealth for you and your family and to give, to help others. And, and you're becoming this entrepreneur and starting this business and, and getting, you know, you want to be working at your best. You want, you know, the best engine will win the race. So... The best way to do that is to go ahead and get a mineral, a whole food mineral product and ingest it every single day. Because even if you eat organic, you are still mineral deficient. So in the start, you may not have much money to get organic even. Go ahead and get conventional. Just make sure to go ahead and give your body 
a whole food mineral supplement and if you you know depending on your or your genetics and so forth, you may need another specific sub, uh, mineral supplement extra to add into whatever. So make some research again. So whatever, take a mineral supplement. Two, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, throughout history, people ate organic food and there were still ailments. There were still ailments like the cold and the flu and all that. Even small ones that people still died from or, or were sick of. They got better, but they, it, they were still sick, right? But again, throughout history, you know, but, you know, there was a lot of uh, hunger, right? A lot of, uh, you know, a lot of times where uh, famine was, was across the board, so. But in the research, in the, in the scriptures, and, and, and what we know from history, you know, many people ate organic food, and but they still felt sick. So, so I mean, there's many there's debates, but look, the more you worry, the more you fall into that pit. So don't worry about organic. Don't worry about a conventional. Sure, if for specific reasons, if you want to get the organic stuff, like I mentioned, when it comes to the salads or the specific item that you find tasting much better than conventional, go ahead and get it. Even, I mean, it, but it really doesn't make the difference because the only difference is the minerals. Right? So go ahead and get the mineral rich. Uh, as I mentioned, look at your genetics. There's been ailments if, you know, you know, I'll give you a good example. If you have a if you have a family history of high blood pressure, it's been researched that that could well be a magnesium deficiency. So go ahead and you know get get a magnesium whole food supplement. And when I say whole food, and I'll end it with this uh, whole food compared to the rocks, right? They've if you look at a mineral supplement that comes from rocks. That is the cheapest form of mineral supplement you can buy. You look at it in the microscope, the actual formations of the, the micro parts of that mineral, they look misshapen, triangular, and they have this really weird shape, right? When you get a whole food mineral, uh, supplement you look at it at a microscope they look like little small smooth spheres so this is the way it was intended for a street so the other ones they look like misshapen little triangular rectangular sort of uh, ge geometry there compared to the whole food one which is a smooth spherical little balls so that makes a difference so the way you, the absorption rate the way it goes into your body is a big difference so go ahead and get a whole food if you're not getting a whole food supplement just don't I don't get it at all of course, if the body is in a need of that supplement, you'll try to go ahead and and get it, the, get the mineral from that rock. But it will only do it for a specific amount of time. Get a whole food supplement. If you, if you want to go ahead and spend that extra money, but instead of organic. Get conventional and get a whole food supplement. It's a little it's, it's a little more expensive than a regular mineral syrup supplement, but there's a reason for that. I mean, go ahead and I mean sacrifice something. If 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 you sacrifice, I'm pretty sure if you sacrifice a cup of coffee, you know, once or twice a week, you can afford your supplements, your mineral supplement. You know, so. Make sure and make the research. Make sure you look at your family history and see what minerals you need. And go visit your doctors. Again, you know, throughout history, people ate organic food, mineral-rich mineral foods. They still fell ill. Okay, so but medicine is here for a reason, right? But definitely minerals 
we're dependent on those. So go ahead and make that research. And I'll see you guys next time.